Hey guys, hope you're well. So we're going to carry on with probability now and we're going to be looking at questions that have the words and and the words or. Now with the words and, your teacher might have explained something in class with regards to independent and then for or, they might have used the words mutually exclusive. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of those, but I do want to talk a little bit further on mutually exclusive. When two events, when two events cannot happen at the same time, then we call that mutually exclusive. For example, let's say we roll a dice. We roll a dice. Let's say that event one is we want to roll the number two, and event number two is we want to roll an odd number. Now, can these two things happen at the same time? Well, no, because the number two is a even number. You know, even and odd, like we learned about in earlier grades, even numbers are like two, four, six, eight, ten. Odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. So if you are rolling the number two, then that is not an odd number. So these two events cannot take place at the same time. You cannot roll a two and it's also an odd number. So because those two things cannot take place at the same time, we would say that these two events are mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusive is two events that cannot take place at the same time. For example, if you walk into a school and you say, I want everyone who does maths, uh, sorry, let me say that again. I want everyone who does both maths and maths literacy to stand up. No one is going to stand up. Why? Because someone, some people do maths and some people do maths literacy. I'm talking about pure maths and maths literacy. There's not going to be a person that does both. Okay? Um, those are called mutually exclusive. They cannot happen at the same time. You cannot do maths and maths literacy at the same time. So when two events cannot happen at the same time, mutually exclusive. Okay, now let's go do some examples. Um, so what I want you to do, when you see the word and, I want you to think about multiplying. Okay? When you see the word, um, we'll get to the word or just now, but for now you can just write that. When you see or, I want you to add. Okay, write that down so long. When it's and, I want you to multiply. When it is or, I want you to add. Okay, so when you see and, then I want you to multiply. When you see or, then uh, plus. Okay, so let's do some examples. A person rolls a dice and then flips a coin. Don't worry, I'm not talking about that. Here we go. Determine the probability that a three is rolled and a head is tossed. Okay, so this is the first event. This is the second event. And how have they linked them? With an and. So we're going to multiply. Okay, so for event number one, we are rolling a dice. Okay, so we know that when you roll a dice, there are six possibilities. Remember, we've spoken about this. Now, when you roll a dice, you could roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So there's six different possibilities. What is the probability that you will roll a three? Well, how many threes are there? There's one, so you can just put that. Okay, for event number two, which is flipping a coin. So when you flip a coin, you can either get a heads or a tails. So there's two outcomes. If you want to get a head, then that's one out of two. Now, what did we say? When they connect them using the word and, what will we do? We will multiply. So we're going to say one out of six multiplied by one out of two. Type that on your calculator and you would get one out of 12. Excellent. Let's carry on. A bag contains four red marbles, three blue marbles, and two green marbles. A person draws a marble, now this part's important, replaces it, and then draws another one. Determine the probability that a blue marble is drawn first, followed by a red. Now, Kevin, you said there's going to be a word and. Ah, so there is no word and over here. But you can make sense of this. Check here. Does this question want us to, do they want us to do number one or number two? So number one, do they want us to draw a blue marble 
and then a red marble? Or do they want us to draw a blue marble or a red marble? What does this question want? It says, determine the probability that a blue marble is drawn followed by a red marble. So do they want us to just draw a blue marble or a red marble? So like they don't mind if it's a blue or a red. They don't really mind. Or do they want us to get a blue and a red? So they want us to be specific. Blue and then they want the red. Well, you might have to pause and just think about that. But number one is correct. They want us to get a blue and then they want us to get a red. They're not saying you can get a blue or a red. The word and and or is very important. If your, let's say for example, your mom makes your lunch. I know, yeah, I mean, I think in grade 10, yeah, my mom was still making me lunch. Um, let's say you've got someone who makes lunch for you, okay? Now, there is a big difference if you ask them for a sandwich and a chocolate compared with if you ask them for a sandwich or a chocolate. Okay, in this one, you are going to get both. You're going to get a sandwich and you're going to get a chocolate. In this one, you're just going to get a sandwich or you're going to get a chocolate. Or if your mom's nice, she'll give you both. Um, but the word or just means that it's not as strict. But when they use the word and, it has to be both. So here they say, determine the probability that a blue marble is drawn first, followed by a red marble. So they're telling you specifically, it must be a blue marble, and then it must be a red marble, okay? So we're gonna go with option number one, where they are using the word and. Okay, so event number one is a blue marble. Blue marble, and then event two is a red. But now what's also very important is this part replaces it. Okay, so let's go do the blue marble first. So in the bag, there are four plus three, which is seven plus two. There are nine marbles in total. The blue marbles, there are three. Okay, so if you type that on the calculator, that'll give you one out of three. Now, they take that blue marble out, but then they put it back into the bag. That is very important. They put it back into the bag, so they replace it, and then they take another one. So when they take another one, there are still gonna be nine marbles in the bag because they've put the blue one back, okay? But now they're looking for a red one, so a red one there would be four. And if you type that on the calculator, it would still be four. So because we're using and, we want both of these to happen, we're gonna multiply them. So we're gonna multiply them like that. And if you do that correctly, this should give you four out of 27. This one is the same question. They're also saying determine the probability that a blue marble is drawn followed by a red. So we're definitely using and, but then this part's different. They do not replace it. Okay, so for event number one, uh, that's to draw a blue marble. And then for event number two, that's to draw a red. So for the first blue one, that's not gonna change from our previous answer. There's gonna be three out of um, nine marbles again. And so that's gonna give us one over three. But now for the red one, now we gotta be careful. Remember that in this bag, there were four red marbles, three blue, and two green. They have taken one of the blue marbles out already, and they said, does not replace it. They are not going to replace it. So that means one of these blues is gone, so there's only two blues left. So if you add this up, there's only eight marbles left in this bag. There's only eight marbles, and how many of them are red? Four, okay? And so that's gonna be one out of two. Now because we're using and, you are still gonna go and multiply these, and that'll be one out of six. A coin is tossed and then a dice is rolled. Determine the probability that a head is tossed and a two is rolled. Okay, so we're gonna multiply. All right, so event number one, is a coin, um, well, they want us to toss a head, toss a head, and then event number two is roll a two. So if you wanna to toss a head, well, that's easy. When you roll a dice, I mean, when you flip a coin, you've got a one out of two chance. If you want to roll, um, if, you, if you roll a dice, there's six options. You could either roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, 
or a six. Now, if you wanna roll a two, there's one of those. So that would be one out of six. Now, what are you gonna do with these two numbers? You are going to multiply them. So you're gonna say one out of two multiplied by one out of six, and that'll give you one out of 12. Okay, we're still gonna to get to some questions where we're gonna use the word or. So here this one says, a coin is tossed and then a card is drawn. Remember, I've showed you cards before. Here the cards are once again. So it says, a coin is tossed, then a card is drawn. Determine the probability that a card is a jack and, woohoo, there they're, looking, they're using the word and, so that's gonna be multiply. The coin is a heads. Okay, so event number one. Let's do the coin toss first. So we're gonna toss a heads, toss a heads. And then event number two is get a jack. So get a jack. Okay, so to toss a heads, um, you've got a one out of two chance. Now, remember there are 52 cards in total. The jacks are these ones over here. So if you wanna draw a jack out of the 52 cards, how many of them are jacks? Well, that would be four. So four out of 52, and that's, if you simplify that, that'll be one out of 13. Now, remember, because they're saying and, we are going to multiply. So we're gonna say one out of two multiplied by one out of 13, and that's gonna give us one out of 26. Now we're gonna start looking at questions with or. So with or, you're gonna rather plus instead of multiply. So a dice is rolled, determine the probability that a two is rolled or an odd number is rolled. Okay, so a two is rolled or an odd number is rolled. So event number one is that a two is rolled. And then event number two, um, an odd number is rolled. Okay, so um, we know that to f when you roll a dice, you've got the options one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you wanna roll a two, out of the six options, there's one, two. So you've got a one out of six chance. If you wanna roll an odd number, remember your odd numbers are the numbers like one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Those are all your odd numbers, okay? And then your even numbers are things like two, four, six, eight, ten. Those are your even numbers. Remember that from earlier grades. So if you wanna roll an odd number, out of the six options, that's an odd number, that's an odd number, that's an odd number. So it's three out of six. Okay, now, they said, determine the probability that a two is rolled or, or, that's the key word, an odd number is rolled. So you are going to add these two numbers together. You're not gonna multiply them now, you're gonna add them together, and then that will simplify to two over three. A dice is rolled, determine the probability that an even number is rolled, or, there they're using the word or again, the number five. So um, event number one is gonna be an even number, and then event number two is rolling the number five. Okay, so remember you could roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So to get an even number, that would be this, this, and this. So how many numbers is that? Well, out of the six numbers, those there's three of those, and so if you simplify that, you would get a half. Event number two is to roll the number five. Okay, so out of all six of our options, how many fives are there? There is one five, and so that would give you that. Now, because they're using the word or, you are going to add these two numbers together, and you can just do that on your calculator, and that'll give us two out of three. Here's our last question for this lesson. A card is chosen from a deck of cards. I'll get the cards now for you. Determine the probability that it is a jack or, aha, then you plus. If it's an or, you plus. Okay, so let's go get our cards. All right, so um, event number one is determine the probability that it is a jack. Okay, so that's to get a jack. And then event number two, uh, it is an ace, okay, it is an ace. Right, so to get a jack out of, out of the 52 cards, remember there's 52 cards over here, if you wanna get a jack, well that's those ones over there, so that means four out of 52, if you simplify that, 
1 out of 13. Now for event number 2 to get an ace, well here's your aces. So that's also going to be 4 out of 52 and that's also going to be 1 out of 13. Now because they used the word or, you will um, add them, I nearly said multiply there, you would add them together. And if you add these together, you would get 2 out of 13. And so that's it for this lesson. When they use the word or, add. When they use the word and, then multiply.